Get the door, get the door, get the door. My next story here is. Am I the asshole for asking my husband to join us in my sister's birthday since he was in the same restaurant? I, female 26, was invited to my sister's 18th birthday a few days ago at a restaurant. My husband didn't come because he said he had a meeting dinner with some clients. This made my family feel let down, especially my sister who wanted him there. And also her 18th birthday was a big deal to her, obviously. To my surprise, when I arrived, I noticed that my husband was having his meeting at the same place. His table was right in the corner and he had about four men sitting with him. My parents and the guests saw him as well. I waved for him and he saw me but ignored me. He obviously was as much as surprised as I was. My parents asked why he didn't even come to the table to acknowledge them after the cake arrived. I got up and walked to his table. I stood there and said, excuse me. My husband was silent when I asked. After I introduced myself to the clients, if he'd take a few minutes to join me and the family in the candle blowing and saying happy birthday. But he barely let out a phrase and said, I don't think so. I'm busy right now. I insisted saying it'd just take a couple of minutes and that it means so much to my sister. He stared at me and then stared awkwardly back at his clients. They said nothing and he got up after my parents were motioning for me to hurry up. He sat with us while my sister blew the candles and cut the cake. My parents insisted he take a piece and join us in the selfie. But he got up and walked back to his table looking pissed. We didn't talk until we met later at home. He was upset and started scolding me in front of my parents saying I embarrassed them and made him look unprofessional and ruined his business meeting. I told him he overreacted since it only took a few minutes and it was my sister's birthday and my family wanted him to join since he was literally in the same restaurant. He called me ignorant and accused me of tampering with his work, but I responded that ignoring mine and my family's presence was unacceptable. We argued then he started stonewalling me and refusing to talk to me at all. FYI, I didn't have an issue with him missing the event, but after seeing that he was already there, then it became a different story. Also, it literally took 5-7 to seven minutes. He didn't even eat nor drink, just sat down and watched. Am I the asshole? I already have my opinion, but I'm curious yeah. if yours is opposite of mine. I think that she's definitely the asshole. Okay, good. And I think she's, she, did. I wonder, okay, I wonder in what world she's living in. <laughs> I think she just might, like, I, I don't know what she works at or, yeah. or if she's working, but maybe yeah. she just hasn't had a job anywhere yeah. close in that realm but and like, just doesn't understand. But, like, in what world are you living in? I'm trying to, like, give her the benefit of the doubt, right? And like, I just feel like... Are you in Mars, lady? Dude, I think it's... Like, okay, <laughs> I get it, I get okay. it. But I just feel like it's hard sometimes to describe your job to someone that doesn't work there. Someone that doesn't go through the certain things. And sometimes when you're explaining, oh, you know, today I uh, work, it was really tough because so and so and so. Yeah. And you're hearing it, you might be like, that doesn't sound like a big deal. And it's just hard to convey okay. certain things. So maybe she doesn't understand that, yes, they're in a public setting. Yes, they're a okay. restaurant. But that's the same as if they were in a conference room. But like... She's totally in the wrong. Okay. It just sounds like she really It's just not super a ignorant to how any sort of meeting goes. Yeah. Like, dude. Yeah. It just makes me sad because it just feels like that's, that's the but issue. like, dude. Okay, okay. You know what this reminds me of? This, re this reminds me of this. I have a niece. Mm -hmm. And my niece is six years old now. Six, seven? She's six or seven years old now. I go to my parents almost every weekend and I, and I like having conversations with them. We sit down, we talk. My niece, she loves seeing me. Loves seeing me. Mm -hmm. She comes to me, she's like, oh, Oscar, let's play. Oscar, let's play. Come on, come on. In the middle of me talking to my parents, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm having like a good conversation with them. And she's like pulling on me to go. And I'm like, I'm like, no, hey, I'm having a serious conversation. Like, can you like calm down a little bit? Right. And, and she'll be like, no, come on, let's go. Let's go. And I'm like, no, I, I, let me talk to uh, grandpa and grandma first and then I'll go. OK. And then she goes, my niece is six years old and she understands that I'm having a conversation. And yes, although whatever she wants is important, I can't put her first because I have something I'm prioritizing something going on already. Right. 
So like just the just even the factor of not being rude is like what she's not understanding. Like he is already in a conversation. He is already in a scenario that like involves not her. Like she's not yeah. present. Like she she can she's not in this bubble at all. And, he, and it's not even just her because she's a wife or anything. Like if a waiter came and he was like, "Hey dude, like you want to go take a picture or something?" or like, "Hey dude, mm-hmm. can you help me whatever, right?" If a best friend came, "Yo, I haven't seen you in 4 years." Whatever it is, mm-hmm. right? It's not the time, dude. You're in a serious meeting. You're in a serious situation. Hey, man, I'll go in like 20 minutes. I need to finish this up. Whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Or like, like something. Tell, tell them something. That's, I guess it's also his fault, right? He needs to communicate because it looks like he was just ignoring her. He needs to communicate. That's all perfect and all. I need to finish this. I'll see you in an hour. Whatever, right? But like on the other side, she need, the other person needs to understand that it's not the time to do this. And if you see somebody and whatever at that type of scenario, you, you, it's safe to assume that they shouldn't even be approached. I feel like something that I will say based on what you just said mm-hmm. is that the part that really does bother me is the fact of how you mentioned your niece. She, she, it takes her a couple of times of you saying not yeah. right now to understand. But this lady is an adult. And even though he, I feel like he just didn't know how to react because yeah. he was trying to stay professional, but he did say, I don't think so. And that's my point. You know? That's and what I'm trying to say. Kept yeah. going. That's what, that's what, that's exactly what I was trying to convey. Like even my niece, it's who's just, like six I years feel old like knows. the issue though, is that like, he obviously knows the, the environment, right? So he's like, she's being super rude, but she doesn't know that environment. Yeah. So she thinks he's the one that's being super rude. Like, you're pretending like we're not your family. You completely ignore us. Like we're in the same restaurant. Yeah. You know, and it's it's hard to have two people communicate on the spot. Oh, that, it's so hard, that man. That see it completely so different. Hard. Yeah. I just don't. I guess where my confusion lies is like, how do you see it so differently? Like, what if she never has worked a day in her life? Okay, that's fine, right? If she's never worked a day in her life, that's okay. She's been married to this guy. Unless he never talks about his job. Like, this is weird. Like, how many times have I come home and I've told you something about my job, right? Okay. And like... To be fair, though, I mm-hmm. feel like there's been a lot of times where I'm like, oh, how was work? And you're just like, it's fine. You know, yeah, you don't really... 100%. So what if he really just doesn't, like, say well, like, much? Think about this, okay? We've been married for, what, like, almost three years now, mm-hmm. right? And I haven't been in a serious job i think i think i've only been in a serious job for as long as we've been married okay yeah which is like three years in those three years right which is not a lot compared to our whole lives right Mm -hmm. i've told you situations about my work Mm -hmm. that was just not like it was fine whatever or it was okay oh man today was horrible right Mm -hmm. outside of that i there's been situations where i have gone into detail they're married. Unless they just got married like a week ago, how come there hasn't been a scenario where he talks about his job? You know? Like, there must have been at least one occurrence where he's like, but you know what? that's kind of what I was saying. I was in like, a meeting and Betty explain. just interrupted me or whatever, you know? It, like, it's just like hard to explain mm-hmm. a job to someone who hasn't yeah. lived that that's, environment, you know? That's assuming she doesn't have a job. But like, and like, for example, there's been like, like we are in meetings a lot in, in yeah. our jobs and there's definitely meetings where you need to like sit up straight and you have your camera yeah. on and all of that. But then there's also meetings that I've walked in, like, um, in the room where you're having your meeting and you're doing something silly, you <laughs> yeah. know? And you're, yeah. so it's just like, it's, I don't know. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt that she just doesn't really know, but I think on the other hand, if we can speak a little bit of the husband and something he didn't do right, as angry as you are, doing it in front of her parents is not the appropriate time to to bring it up. Yeah. Especially if you're still heated. A hundred percent. That's the wrong time. Just wrong timing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I'm a big believer that any sort of relationship issue is only acceptable to be handled within the relationship. You don't bring anybody else on board, man. No parents, no sisters, no nothing, no cousins, no best friend. Nah, it's just you and your partner, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And it's not like he was asking for help in the conversation. He was just like, it's in front of everyone right now. 
yeah. and scolding her. Yeah, I agree. So overall, what was you're the asshole, which mm -hmm. makes sense, you know. And then top comment here was, business meetings are not the same thing as dinner with friends, where you can just excuse yourself for a moment to chat with your family. When you attend a meeting, it is expected that the people in it have cleared up their schedule so the appointment won't be interrupted. Mm -hmm. You know it was a coincidence, but your husband's business partners might be thinking you guys arranged the dinners to be in the same restaurant and that would damage his professionalism in their eyes. Also, your husband said he didn't want to attend the celebration. He said he had a business meeting. That sounds really important. By the way, and what do you do? You coerce him to participate anyway? I get why he blew up on you. OP, whether you realized it or not, you acted disrespectfully, unprofessionally, and you may have jeopardized his career. You're the asshole. The thing here, and this is hitting every point that I was basically saying. Yeah. But like the thing here too is like, we don't even know what this business meeting really is. Yeah. Like if he's a salesman, like think about that, yeah. right? If he's a salesman and this is their biggest client, dude, this is horrible. Yeah. Like, just to put it in perspective, the company they work for has salespeople, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's one guy in particular that he's just really good at what he does. And he has a company that gives us a big portion of our make, of what the company makes, right? Anytime that company needs anything, hey, our license expired. Or, mm -hmm. hey, um, we need to recertify with you guys. And so we mm -hmm. need these documents filled out. Dude, everybody is like that yeah everybody i wonder who you're talking about i'll tell you later but that company is big with us right so like anytime anybody anytime anytime they need anything we're always on it mm -hmm. okay and this would be a huge like and embarrassing. Let's, exactly let's say that sales guy who is the the rep of that company is having dinner with them and they're just negotiating like another uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, basically doing business with us for another year or whatever. And sh and the wife comes and does this, dude. Yeah. That could jeopardize an entire company. Yeah. I I just think this you is know just what, on too? level. I feel like, like first impressions matter. And we don't know how mm. far into the conversation yeah. this had happened. But 100%. I've definitely been on meetings where um, it's an hour long. And at some point they did something. And at the end of the meeting, the one thing I remember is that what mm, happened? Yeah. You know? And I'm just like, that's what I remember. Like, there's someone yeah. specific thing on my mind right now who set up a meeting with me and then, like, almost, like, not even two minutes in, got a phone call and it was like, oh, I'm sorry, I have to take this. Muted himself with camera still on and on the phone. And it's just it's so disrespectful. To everybody. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, like, you're taking my time, you know? Yeah. And that's still the thing that I remember about that person. Yeah. And it's not I, I a agree. huge deal, you know? So something like this that's much bigger, yeah. That could really ruin reputation. That do that 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 could have like a big spiral effect. There's mm -hmm. like you know, kind of drinking down to a lot of different things. Yeah, I don't know. I do think OP, you're the asshole, man. And honestly, like I don't know how I don't know what world you live in, dude. I don't know where you are at. You like, know what? Like how we were mentioning at the beginning, if everyone's going to be the asshole, the stonewalled, and we said yes. Yeah. Well, this is interesting because the person that stonewalled is not the asshole in this instance. Yeah. It's hard to like, it's hard to call him an asshole for stonewalling because it just feels so justified, you know? Yeah. Like this lady really did act so crazy. Um, but that's that. And that, man, I don't get it, dude. Like how can next you- Next story, next story. Yeah, just, man, some of these leave me angry. I can tell. <laughs> I'm like the, have you seen the Arthur meme at all? No. Probably not. I'll, I'll put it here somewhere. But like, it's like, basically, it's, you know, Arthur from the cartoon? Yeah. Okay. So it's like him holding his fist, but to the side. And people, you're off social media, so you probably don't know any of this. But like, people use it in a way to describe their anger. That's what I am right now. I'm the Arthur meme. I'm like very okay. angry. You guys will get it. She is like a few years behind, so. <laughs> You'll get it I'm in like a year. Like, I'm off the grid. <laughs> Everybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours, and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us, man. Hear some Reddit stories, and let's see where the heck this goes. With all that being said, we'll see you in the next one.